Hey there, it's Robin from Free Events, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add event calendars to your website using the Elementor and Free Events plugins. The calendars will display multiple events in various tabs using different display modes. So, the first thing you'll need to do is make sure you have the Elementor and Free Events calendar plugins installed. They can both be found on WordPress.org and installed straight from the plugin section on your website. The Free Events calendar plugin makes it possible to add calendars to your website that display any post, page, or custom post type that have been configured as events. You can also use the Free Events for WooCommerce plugins, which is available on freeevents.com. These will add more advanced event booking and ticketing functionality to your website. Free Events for WooCommerce makes it possible to sell unlimited tickets directly from your WordPress website, as well as manage check-ins using the free Free Events check-in app. So to get started, Create a new page and set the title. Then head over to the Elementor page builder by pressing the Edit with Elementor button. Once the page loads, we'll then add a tabs element to the main section of the page. We then modify the first tab and change the title to All before adding the Foo Events calendar shortcode to the content section of the tab. When adding multiple calendars to the page, it's important to specify a unique ID for each calendar. You can then preview the calendar, which will display all events taking place in the current month. Next, we're going to duplicate the tab we just created and change the title to Activities. This calendar then needs to display all events that are activities. How we do this is when creating events using the Foo Events for WooCommerce plugin, you can organize the events using the WooCommerce Categories feature. For this demo, we've added the Bus Tour and Kayak Tour to the Activities category. Using the Include Catch Shortcode parameter, we can then filter the calendar and only show events that have been categorized as activities. We're then going to duplicate this process for events that have been categorized as conferences. Next, we're going to create a calendar that only displays events taking place on the current calendar day. This is achieved using the default view parameter with the value set as list day. You can also use this parameter in combination with other parameters such as the previously used include cat parameter if needed. We'll then follow the same process and create a week view tab where we specify the default view as list week. This view will then display all events that are taking place in the current week. Next, we create a month view tab that displays all events taking place in the current calendar month. You can also use the default date parameter to specify which month to display. But for this example, we will allow it to default to the current calendar month. And last but not least, we're going to create a tab to display all events taking place in the current year using the list year value. You can also create a calendar for specific repeat events. For example, the bus tour uses the free events bookings plugin and repeats at various dates and time slots. You can create a calendar that only displays these slots by specifying the ID of the product. All you need to do is get the product ID, create a tab called Bus Tour, and set the ID of the product for the post parameter. calendar will then only show bookings for this date. And that is how you use the Foo Events and Elementor plugins to 
add event calendars to your website and display multiple events using various tabs in various display modes. Each of these calendars can be further filtered using a number of shortcode parameters. You can read more about these by visiting the Poo Events Help Center and navigating to the calendar shortcode help doc. If you have any questions, please be sure to get in touch. And thanks for watching.